give God a praise offering. Just praise the Lord for a moment because he's merciful. Because he's merciful. Because he's merciful. God wants you to prosper. But already you've prospered some. You need to be able to continue and find that prosperity is not just financial. It's mental, it's emotional, it's physical. It's the entirety of your being. And there's some area in your life that's being neglected that God is wanting to encourage. Believe God in this moment that God is going to bless you to be a better person. God is going to prosper you by being a better person. God is going to instruct you so that you can be a better person so that out of your belly can flow the blessings like Joseph. That people can look at you and see that surely you are blessed. Because it's coming from you. I want to address number one, those of you that are here that need to get right with God. That, that you need the Lord as your Savior. And, and you've been bouncing back and forth, but something's lacking that needs to be addressed. And that is God, I've given you what I am able to give but I need you to transform me and change me. I need you, God, to work in my life in a deep way, but I'm willing. Some of you are standing and thinking, as soon as I know I can be the Christian I ought to be, I'll respond. It's not up to you. It's up to him to help you, and he will. And if you're here today and you need salvation, or if you're a backslider and you need to get right with the Lord, would you just leave where you're at right now and come to the front of the church? The Bible says, just as I am, rather the song says, just as I am, 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 hallelujah. And as I see these people coming, I hope there'll be somebody that will be praying for you. Because it's not easy. We're not telling you it's easy. But we're telling you there's no other way to go. It's the only way of hope. It's the only way of victory. It's the only way that you have any peace. Is God working in your life. And I just thank God for everyone that's here. Oh, I just thank God for you. I wish every one of you had somebody standing by you. I, I just really do. Because you, you, you need to be more than just isolated. You need the encouragement if we have any personal workers that are capable of being with this people my, my heart goes out to each one we're going to pray a prayer of salvation for those of you that are coming to receive Christ the Bible says that with the heart man believeth unto righteousness with the mouth confession is made unto salvation and so we're going to respond in this moment with your lips following what I feel the Lord gives me the power to say just repeat after me dear Jesus I know I'm a sinner I need you to help me I need you to change me I want to be born again I accept you Jesus as my Lord and Savior you died on the cross you shed your blood for me that I might be saved. I accept you, Jesus, as my Lord and Savior now. And I'm just believing that God is going to make this moment an awesome moment for you. Dear Heavenly Father, let your blessing be upon each one that is here, and especially for those who have come to receive you as Lord of their life. I ask, God, that you would bless them abundantly. I ask that you would encourage them and strengthen them. I ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. You'll be instructed to go over to my left, to your right. And I turn to the congregation. And 
And I want to say to you that are con a congregation, I thank you for your prayers. I want you to pray for me that I could be used of God. That's where I began and that's where I'm continuing. And only God knows our steps as we go along. But God brought me here. He hasn't sent me away. And I want to be an encouragement in whatever way that God wants me to be an encouragement to you. And I thank God for the privilege of preaching the word because I believe that what I preach is what God has for that moment. I believe that you heard God's word this morning. We're going to close in prayer. And for you that are here today that the Lord's brought you as far as he has, just give him thanks and know that If he's brought you this far, his will is that you could help somebody that finds it a little harder than you so that they won't have to fall and fail. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for this day, and I thank you, God, for this great assembly. I thank you, God, for everyone that is here this moment. I believe that there are people that have ears to hear, and I believe, dear God, that you're speaking word that they can understand. And I ask God that you would help them to be blessed. I ask God that you'd help them to grow. I ask God that you would cause your benediction mercies to be upon them in this moment. Granted, dear Heavenly Father, I claim it in the name of Jesus. And I do thank you, Lord. God's people said amen. Thank you for listening to Night Vision with Pastor George Bogle. If you would like to support